Hello, and welcome to another episode of Matter Hacks, a video series by Actionable Insights. Today, I want to talk about a new feature, or really a returning feature, to Matterport scans where you can duplicate them. But first, let's thank the sponsor of this week's video. This week's video is brought to you by Cleaning and Restoration Magazine. CNR Magazine is a legacy publication independently serving and partnering with the restoration and cleaning industry. Today, CNR features a bi-monthly print magazine, as well as a robust online presence, including web-exclusive articles, videos, podcasts, industry news updates, and more. Subscribe for free at cnrmagazine.com. All right, so today I want to talk about copying a space. As you can see here, I have logged into my Matterport account here, and I'm in one of my folders. I'll just you know show here some hierarchy of our folders. We have other videos about recommended hierarchy, uh, but you can also see here the copy space example. I'm gonna go in here and I have a scan in here. I performed this scan, it's in my account, and I wanna be able to send a copy of it, for example, to an adjuster I'm working with, or the policyholder has requested a copy of the scan themselves, which, by the way, uh, every policyholder can have one scan for free for life. There's a free Matterport plan. You can send them a duplicate. We'll get into the implications of all this in a moment, but let's just talk about how this actually works. When I'm looking at a scan from the folder view here, I'm not in the scan, there is this three uh, button ellipsis, vertical ellipsis here, that's a menu button, and you'll see a new button here that says copy space. As soon as I hit copy space, it's going to say, hey, started copying, started company, click here to open the space, and it always, um, there's a little notification the first time you do it that'll say reminder, Whenever you copy a space, it will be placed in the same folder uh, from which this original scan that you were copying from is currently in. Now, that's not the only way that I can copy a scan. Let's do a quick refresh here, see if it's already ready, if it's still, oh, already ready, right? Same title with the word copy in it, so I know clearly which one is the copy. Additionally, there is a second way that you can copy or duplicate a space. I can go into the scan itself. I could be looking at the scan, and you'll note up here by the name of the scan, we have that same more actions, vertical ellipsis uh, button there. And I have the ability to copy a space from here. Now, here's that notification I was telling you about. This space will be copied in the same folder. The copy will be included in your account's total hosted spaces. So as I hit confirm there, and we'll go back to uh, the folder itself so you can kind of see what's happening here. Note that each one of these duplicated spaces counts as an active space towards your account's total allowed active spaces. So what are the implications of being able to duplicate? Well, one of the major ones here that we talk about in our uh, Xactimate uh, Insight Sheet database here, these are invoicing templates for invoicing in Xactimate. And this one in particular is actually invoicing for Matterport Pro Series scans, where we walk people through the best practices when invoicing for Matterport Pro Series scans. And a big part of this that we've been talking about for the last two years is if you are going to be invoicing for performing a Matterport scan, invoicing the claim, policyholder, carrier, uh, it would be a wise move to at least make it possible to send a duplicate to the carrier so that they can hold on to it as a claims file. Uh, so we have, for example, this form here that um, the adjuster would be able to fill out in our F9 note should they want to request a duplicate. Well, historically, in order to get a duplicate, you would need to email support at matterport.com and wait for them to duplicate it but now you have the button yourself. So this just sped up the ability to duplicate scans, share those scans, send those scans. Uh, additionally, why is this important? Because now you can hold on to the original scan. Uh, if you are the contractor that performed the scan, you can hold on to it, you can archive it so it doesn't count as an active space, but it's still there and available if you ever need to go back to that scan. And then you can quickly duplicate and provide them to the policyholder, adjusters, anyone else that you would like to have that this is just an incredibly useful utility for contractors and adjusters to be able to share scans, duplicate scans, archive scans, and essentially make the administration around your account easier to create, duplicate, and share, or really transfer scans uh, to another party if you wish to do so. Hope you enjoyed this week's Matter Hacks. Please, if you could, wherever you're watching, like, share, subscribe. Check us out at getinsights.org, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys next week.